so uh, this time tomorrow guardian angel should be available on the imdb database and officially it would have gone global <laughs> man sometimes i can't believe i'm saying these words um just to say it started off as a book that i wrote in the pandemic um, to help people to reach out and to basically celebrate a very dear friend's 30th birthday. I think three years later, um, it's been one hell of a party, don't you? <laughs> um, can you imagine the hangover? Whew. Um, I guess I have to kind of say thank you to COVID. Not too big a thank you because I don't want it back. Um, but thank you because if it hadn't have come, I wouldn't have written the book. It wouldn't have been published. It wouldn't have raised money for Rainbow Gardens and it raised over £350. Um, you know, it wouldn't have been there to help people cope. Um, wouldn't have been there to help me cope either. Um, and for me, it was just, uh, you know, it was celebrating an amazing friendship that not many people got to meet. And for our 30th birthday, it's always a big celebration, isn't it? So I had to do something special. Uh, but I think it taught me, as well as helping me to be able to close a massive chapter um, and accept a few things as well, um, that friendship never dies. Whether they're here or not, they're still with you. And that's what I'll always take forward and what I'll always believe as well. Um, obviously, I've written uh, Wrong Lighthouse uh, since because I went to the wrong one on purpose. Mind, I'm not that dippy. Don't get lost. Um, I've written since, I have been writing poetry since, I've uh, planned my third film for the trilogy and as you all know there's one more trip that I need to make and that is to Ostend this year. A trip that I've put off, a trip that I've told myself I need to do, um, never been, it's going to be confronting, it's going to be emotional but that is a promise that I did say I would always keep. And I think now, after everything that's happened over the last three years, it's time. Um, it's taken me a long time to get to this point. So it, uh, it's a trip that's going to mean so much. And I still get emotional when I think about planning it. I uh, still have my tears, but it's going to be special. So um, that will be the final film in the trilogy. And then I'll be producing other stuff. Um, but yeah, what a journey. Um, it's been roller coaster um not unexpected no one planned it little of all me little misorganized um didn't see none of this coming you know it weren't part of the 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 plan um i thought it had last about a year and that's it but three years on and it's still performing and three years on it's gone <laughs> global um oh there's just no words um, but i couldn't have done any of that without people believing in it and um you know i believed in it because i put time into into project but i've had so much love and support um from people who bought the book from people who want to see more from people who just encouraged me that even when i have doubts myself that i might actually do an all right job at the end of it um and i couldn't have done it without you so i want to say a massive thank you for everyone who supported and believed in guardian angel for being on this journey with me, uh, obviously to my mum, dad, early boys, Bill and Jim, uh, to my little creative team, um, everyone who bought the book and donated to charity, everyone who celebrated the award wins with me when I've been crying like a good one, um, and just everyone who stood by me on this journey. That's not been easy, um, but we've done it, and uh, yeah, it's gone global. Celebrate with me. Um, and I shall see you all in Austin at the right lighthouse, the one by the CA. Thank you. Much love.